Welcome to the Bushman village. This is one of Namibia's Bushman village. These people live in the world as they have been in the past. So we came here. They currently live on a farm where they are well taken care of. What I'm touching here is uh, the color bush, the way they used to put water in. This all their stuff they do are like their craft or handwork. And uh, they are selling it to tourists and all the visitors that come here. So this is also one of their beautiful color bush. The rest are necklaces and uh, bracelets. Those are made out of... Um, ostrich eggs mostly their necklaces like uh, they use the ostrich uh, eggshells to make necklaces or beads out of it and uh, they mix that with some uh, precious stones which they get from the rocks from the mountains and then they just get them polished so now we're walking we're going on a visit that's now uh, they are portraying what they used to do in the First, like yeah, those years, their forefathers, they used to go hunting, and that's how the men used to dress. Sorry, here it's just gonna be very yeah like that. So we walking um and make sure I leave behind because yo, yeah, it was very hot. I will say it was over forty degrees and uh, it's hot. And believe me, these uh, bushman people they don't even wear shoes. I actually had to ask one, aren't you burning from the sun because it's hot. So we approach here and they are going to show us their paintings. These paintings are over, I don't know, but they are over, they are thousands and thousands of years as they were painted by their ancestors. So that's the shade. The, the shade is actually caused by this, um, formed by this huge rock. It's a natural rock and what he's pointing there is just uh, the, the, the drawings or the paintings that are over thousands, like decades of years. So um, he showed us what uh, the drawings uh, portray and then uh, the, another guy here, he goes in and interpret in English. So the f I'm going to let the video play like um, in its original state, meaning uh, the other guy is going to speak the Bushman language. And then I don't know if it's called Bushman, sorry, but I'm speaking under correction. I don't know if it's hang on or they are different, but I'll say Bushman. Um, and then this other guy is going to go ahead and explain it in English. Please, with due respect, respect what he's going to say. They are not, uh, he's, he's trying and I, I rate him like 9 out of 10. Because uh, looking at their backgrounds and so on, not exposed to school education in extra, so he is actually doing very good for him. Yeah, but I hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna let it play as I say. So, but meanwhile, he's showing us how he's gone, what the, what what uh, the drawings were painted from. So he said it was done with um, animal blood and. Uh, fit that you are gonna hate yourself and also later from here they are gonna show us on how they used to make fire in the past like in history eh? they used to make fire not using matches and so on but they used the natural way of using grass and rubbing sticks together for friction and then it causes fire so it's we it's, it's very um interesting on how they used to live and yeah, they lived. They made it. So here, I did not come alone. I was uh, with other people also, like of the same interest. I hope you're going to enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, this is not naked. That's how they used to dress. And that's how they dress at the moment. So in this farm, it's where they live. And uh, they dress like that, whether it's cold or hot both adult and children. It's interesting, as I said, they don't get sick from the cold, but uh, when they said when it's very cold, they make fire, and then they sit around the fire. So, oh, that's how they survive. The guy with the grass in his hands, 
it's actually what he's gonna use to make fire because he just collected it somewhere here and um they are looking for a place where they can make fire but he thought we are standing in the sun and probably we are feeling so hot and it's not fair if they're in the shade while we are standing in the sun so he, he they suggested that we move to the next place where there is shade for each and every one of us and then we can all be in the shade that's what is actually pointing there so we agree that it's very hot and we rather walk further to go find shelter otherwise yeah it's hot guys it's very hot don't forget to subscribe and like my video we walk further it's beautiful like the scenery is beautiful you won't believe that how this is actually natural it's very beautiful we walk and that's the little one she's also going nobody was carried everybody walked I also asked them if it's not dangerous in there. They said, no, not really. They said, um, there are no lions, but however, there are leopards here and there. But they said, uh, leopards and lions do not like fire. So, like, where they sleep, because don't forget, they sleep around, like, even just outside in the nature. So, they make fire and it prevents the lions and the leopards from coming. But they said the dangerous guy in the forest, it's only the the rhino because he doesn't fear fire yeah so there they sit down and try to uh, prepare the wood or the stick that they have to use to rub against one another in order for the fire to be to ignite it's interesting i hope you love it but that's the bushman people of namibia if you would like to visit the same village, they on like on the description of this page, there is an email address where I stay for business and you can contact and I will actually have to link you or tell you on how to go about to go visit the village. Of course, one has to pay for them to display or to take you through like on a tour because they are living on a farm, a commercial farm at the moment. But otherwise, everything I have heard from them is interesting. The Bushman people do not did not go to hospital in the past. They have some uh, they they use uh, some trees and shrubs as their medication. Uh, that's to treat whatever different type of diseases and infections. So I will say these people lived happily and uh, healthily. And it's also very scarce for one to find an oberst, uh bushman because I think they eat minimum or they eat healthy. Unlike us that are now currently on a weight loss. Uh, <laughs> we are on our weight loss thingy because we, we want to lose weight. <clears throat> That's not really... Yeah, I didn't mean to. If you take it, if you are... <clears throat> offended i'm sorry for saying that but yeah it's interesting so they are gonna gather the wood there and then they just make i mean the grass and then they try to rub the wood together and they are gonna make fire i'll try to zoom it uh, so you can be able to see what exactly is happening but please do be with me as i said it was very very hot mm -hmm. In Afrikaans, they said it was fear varam. So, yeah, that's what happened. And um, I have learned so much, believe me. They, they actually, they, they think that the tiny thing behind the man, uh, it's, um, it's like a bag where he uses to carry his um, bow and arrow. And then as well as some grass during the rainy season, um, like when he's on a hunting spree. So he's going to keep some grass in there to prevent it from getting wet. And then if he hunts something or he catches like an animal or yeah, whatever the English word is, he's going to make fire and just yeah, make something for him to eat. But here they are busy. That's the process of making fire. Said it's caused by friction and so on. But it will also just be fair if I zoom it when it's almost uh getting there so you can be able to see 
that slowly by surely it's uh the fire is igniting oh, very interesting very much interesting so and then i asked him a question i was like um do your kids go to hospital they're like yeah no one days no they take them to hospitals you see uh everybody goes uh, like everybody goes along the um when i say development or the don't understand me so in the past they could not go to hospitals nature made everything available now also with drought and everything else it's a little bit hard for them to survive so otherwise that's the process of making fire you see the fire is already uh you see it's smoking just from two rubbing two sticks together they uh starts fire so simple no money was used to go and purchase matches or some uh, igniting sticks or fire lighters and so on but they just use sticks huh magical right yes it is so that's there you go smoking the fire within I'm not sure like how long it took but I would say within a very 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 few minutes they managed so now he's blowing until the fire yeah there it goes that burning and then in then they will go around and get wood and just try to make the fire like let the fire burn it's that simple so I will say wisdom is here and the Lord always provided for each and every one of us regardless of our um location our situation our condition so he so did he do to the bushman people of which some people call them the sun people but i would rather call them the bushman bushman i think like for us africans like south africans it means it's 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 uh says the, the prayer from the africans word that says okay bush bush is uh probably like obviously in the world and then man like bushman now we, we yeah some says it's coming is depriving from africans and some say it's just english but yeah whatever it is i just can't wait for you guys to listen to what he's gonna say the english he's speaking i would say it's very very clear and understandable so he said he went to school until grade um seven i think mistaken but there's also at the end of this video there's some way i'm gonna ask him questions and he's going and he's going to answer them accordingly i hope you enjoy the video let me let this video play on its own so that you can be able to make out uh. like where yes, there's like sometimes if you then you used to find them in, in the rocks but sometimes you do not but find them but they are also around you that is dangerous mm, that is dangerous mm. but in our area you used to find a lot of green mambas oh yeah. okay green mambas okay. okay. yeah when your kids get sick, where are you taking them? Now. Mm. From now, when we see when your kids are sick, we can take them to the clinic. Oh, okay. Mm. Yes. Okay, as well. Yes. Why do you do shopping? We used to do the shopping <laughs> for food. For Omandumba. Is it? Oh, okay. Wenn die Kinder krank sind, werden sie in der Klinik behandelt und einkaufen gehen sie hier in diesem Ort. Man, Bumba. Ja, ja, natürlich. Diese Klickstraße. Da die Zaun in former time our forefathers, they was used to make the fire. Why do you speak English? How did you, where did you learn? How did you go to school? Yes, I was in the north. I was going to the school when I was starting from. In 11 years, I was going to the school. Until grade? Until up to, I was fighting from grade 1 mm -hmm. up to grade 7. That's why I was wow. But then at least you can speak good English. Are you sending your kids to school also? Yes. My yeah. kids are also Why don't you teach the others here on the farm how to speak English? Is it difficult? 
I let them, some of them, they are also not like okay. so other children, even if they are not. Okay. Because they are also learning. Some they are going to the preschool, mm. others they are in grade two or so three. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. Other ones we left them back, like others who go to the bigger school, we left them home. Mm. When we come here. Yeah, you just come here for work. Yeah, for coming for demonstration. How that yeah. Can. We can demonstration frame us, then we back mm. to the mall. Mm. Where is home? Where is, where is your house? Where is home? Is it Tsumkwe yeah, or... Tsumkwe, Tsum... when you... you, you Tsumkwe, mm. it's when you pass by Tsumkwe, there is a junction. Mm -hmm. when we call it is as well as... Mm. I was there many years ago. <laughs> the, that, is, that is beautiful, that side. Mm. It's green. Mm.